So the sign-in's looking better. Let's talk about some navigation patterns. And we're going to work through all of these individually. We're going to start with Springboard, and later uh, we'll go into List Menu and Tab Menu. So what is the Springboard? Uh, this is a fairly common pattern that you'll see oftentimes on the home page of an application as it serves as a jumping off point. Uh, these are considered OS neutral, so it doesn't matter if you're running on iOS, Android, Blackberry, this pattern doesn't really change. One constraint you have to keep in mind is that the text has to be rather short for this pattern to work effectively and to look good. Now it is possible to implement some variations on your springboard to infer important in certain parts of the application. For example, looking at this image here, what would you guess is the most important piece of functionality? If you guessed the video, you'd be right, at least the most important according to the developers anyway, because that's the biggest. Second, we have leaderboard and news, and then of course these options along the bottom would be the least important according to the developer. Let's add a springboard to our home page. Now to do this, I'm going to need to go to the home page, and we're going to add a region. This will be just a standard HTML region, and we'll call it Springboard. We'll create that region, and subsequently, we're going to add some items. The item type I'm going to use is display only. I'm going to call this Springboard 1. We're going to add a total of four items, which will basically each be one piece in our springboard or our grid, if you will. Starting with the first, we don't need a label here, so we're going to turn that off. And all oh, this seems fine. So we'll create the item. And now what I need to do is go into the item and modify some of the attributes. I have here some basic HTML. Uh, basically, this is one part of the springboard. This will be the next one, and so on. And let me see if I can zoom in here for you. Um, you can see it here. This is just an anchor. I'm not too sure if this magnifier is even helping, so let me close that. So we have um, an anchor with an href, and the href takes us to a page that does not yet exist. So when you start to use this uh, springboard, uh, you, you will see errors until we create these pages a little bit later today. You'll see that, that the anchors have an image and that the image uh, is basically referring to some images I put in, in my database, in the workspace images. I did this ahead of time to save us a little bit of time today, but they're just standard icons that you can find out on the web. These are called glyphish icons. And then we have some text underneath the image. In this case, it just says uh, customers. So I'm going to take this HTML. I'm going to copy it. We'll go back to our item, and I'm going to scroll down till we get to source, and I'll paste it in here. Now, because it's HTML, and this is a display-only item, this is a security setting that says escape special characters, I need to tell it, no, I actually don't want that this time. So we'll apply those changes, and when we return to our demo and refresh the page, we're starting to see the beginnings of a springboard. I just need to create a couple more items. So I'm going to use this one that we started with and I'm going to copy it. We'll call this next one Springboard 2. And of course the HTML will be a little bit different. And there's another really important setting I want you to see. So first let's fix the HTML, the source. For this one it's going to use this source here. Paste that in. Now here's the other really important setting. This is a neat new feature in Apex 4.2. We now have a grid layout capability. Used to use HTML tables, not very flexible. But to be able to respond to different dimensions and tablets and cell phones and so on, we need a fluid grid. And that's what we have here. So in the second part, it says start new row. It's set to yes. But if I want this part of the springboard displayed to the right of the previous part, then I need to say no. And it can create a new column. That's fine. This is a real nice new tool in Apex 4.2. So we'll apply that change. We can look at where things are at, side by side. Springboard's coming along. We need two more parts down here. So for the first part, I want to copy Springboard 1.
This will be Springboard 3. We'll clear out this content and bring in the new content. Since I copied the, the right portion, all I need to do is specify the source. And we're good. And then I'll copy number two to create number four. We'll call this Springboard 4. All right, so here's the content for the last one. We'll save that. And fingers crossed I got this right. We'll refresh. And here we have it. Okay. So it looks okay. But when I adjust the size, you know, I don't like the fact that the left is on the left. It's not centered. I also don't like this blue. Well, this is where knowledge of CSS comes in. And I have here a little bit of CSS, nothing too complex. But this will uh, basically help us increase the, um, well, increase the, the, the uh, improve upon the, the look and feel. Now, again, I'm going to take this CSS, and I'm going to copy it. And, and I guess I can tell you a little bit about what it's doing here, just a brief overview. We're selecting an element that has an ID of springboard, and we're going down to its ancestor elements, looking for elements that have a certain class, for example, and then we're styling it up. We're applying for the text align attribute, we're saying center. And for margin top, we're applying 30 pixels. So we'll copy that. And we'll go back into the page attributes, and I want to show you something else. This is another new feature in Apex 4.2. It's the ability to create an inline style sheet without adding those uh, start and end tags like we had to before. We just paste the CSS right in. Apex takes care of the rest. Now this element with the idea of springboard, idea springboard, I do need to create that. So I'm going to go into my region here, springboard. I'll focus on the attributes and I can paste this ID in here with the static ID. Apply that change. We return to our demo. Refresh. Ah, now things are looking pretty sharp. Right, everything's nice and centered. It expands and contracts well. So this is a nice springboard. 